Hey crafty friends, it's Carla from Creative Love Affair and I'm back today with a video for you sh showing the uh, Pretty Cute Stamps Knit Happens stamp set and I made a little tag for a crocheted baby rattle that I made for my hairdresser who's having a baby. I wanted to add just a little tag around his neck um, and this stamp set is so perfect for adding to any knit or crocheted items. Um, as well as some cute cards. I die cut the tag with a Spellbinders die and then I'm just sponging around the edge with some blue ink before I add my sentiments to the tag. And there's some cute little hearts as well in the stamp set you're gonna see that I'm gonna put on. I'm using some Distress Ink for the edges and then I used some Hero Arts, the ombre ink um, for some stamping. I really love this ink. Um, whether it's, it gives you three different colors, so you can use it just for stamping or you can use it on a bigger stamp to get that ombre effect. So here I'm showing you the stamp set. It's Knit Happens from Pretty Cute Stamps and really cute images on there. Here I'm using those little hearts that I talked about. I'm just stamping them along the bottom and I realized after I did the video that I was really too far away. I should have been um, zoomed in but I guess that's the, the thing about doing videos and learning along the way. Anyway, um, bear with me and uh, I just wanted to kind of share it and it turned out so cute in the end. So. You can see the little baby rattle up in the corner. Uh, he was very cute, but I totally underestimated how long he was gonna take to get done. I'm coloring in the yarn that I stamped with some Prismacolor color pencils, and they're great for shading and adding layers and blending. They blend really nicely. So I had three different colors here. I just kind of blended them. I wanted to make kind of a variegated look of yarn. And uh, I also stamped the little crochet hook. Um, you can die cut out those um, stamped images just using the SVG images that Pretty Cute Stamps has as well. Uh, they also sell the images if you have a die cutting machine that you can download, which is great. So I die cut them with my Cricut Explorer and then I just stamped them and they were all cut out for me easy peasy. Um, after I got everything blended there, I'm going to end up adding some Wink of Stella just for a little bit of shimmer. It's hard to tell on camera, you'll see, but um, it does add a little bit of nice shimmer. I'm just blending, blending in my color pencils. And it's nice that you can keep adding layers to get the depth that you want. There I am with that Wink of Stella, just to add a little bit on top. And I'm even adding some to my crochet hook there. And then I'm going to glue on my uh, crochet hook, but pop up my yarn. I haven't done any crochet in a while and it was actually really relaxing, um, other than trying to hurry and finish it at the end. It's, um, I really enjoy crocheting and I'm not a big project person but a small project like this it was great and fun um, and I actually added little jingle bells in the head of the baby rattle and uh, so it's so cute it just has a little jingle when you rattle it here I'm putting some uh, twine baker's twine through my take I'm just trimming the ends before I put it um, around the string around the ribbon and if you watched uh, the last video which was a couple of baby cards the gator baby card where I used pretty cute stamps that um, went along with this gift I'm just tying a little bow and putting my tag on and it just added kind of the the finishing touch
Thanks so much for stopping by and hope to see you again really soon.